Well, here we are. Jesus Christ. It's really, really rough out here. Uh, got the trade winds. As you can see, it's fucking howling out. And pretty much surviving. I mean, you got like a full sail. I mean, huge swell. Check this out. Yeah, so, <laughs> woo! About 23 more miles to go. I'm about uh, 23 miles in. So I'm going to a place called Galinos, which is about uh, 46 miles down the coast from uh, San Miguel Gigastoso, where I just spent a few days. Uh, anyways, I'm in some serious uh, north uh, northeast of Brazilian trade winds here that, I don't know, it looks to me like it's blowing 20, but got probably dust into 25. Uh, as you can see, we're really flying along. <laughs> It's uh, kind of difficult to uh, film. But the problem is my case gets kind of wet. Shit, I gotta prevent the accidental jibe. Uh, as you can see, we're fully loaded on the main. And I didn't reef the sail because I wanted the speed. Um, I kind of want to push the limit a little bit to see what uh, the boat can do. And the other thing I want to say is we're running downwind, so when you run downwind, you can carry a lot more sail because there's really no lift. It's just pure physics. The boat's getting pushed along from the backside, whereas if you're close reaching, you just get so much lift. The boat is really would be difficult to control, but in this case, you just throw the main up and just hold on and try to prevent the bow from digging in. Honestly, I haven't had much problem with the bows digging in. Uh, that's been great, but the, one of the problems is, is this trampoline, because of the uh, the pontoons have such little volume that by the time you're surfing a wave, the trampoline acts as kind of a brake to slow you down. So it's not as much fun to surf with, um, especially on the bigger sets that I encounter. But it's all good, all good so far. Just gotta maintain my focus so I don't accidentally jive here. Adios. <laughs>